G'day everyone, this is Powerslide as you might have guessed it and uh, in today's video I don't have matching shoes but we have this beautiful BMW 3 Series today so let's go and drive it! Okay, so we're gonna be talking about the suspension, the gearbox and the engine of the BMW 3 Series because these things are really strong in this car. So starting off with the steering wheel. So it's a normal steering wheel. I'm really into BMW steering wheels. Those are really pretty things. Let's get down to the gearbox. So we have this uh, normal BMW gear lever here, automatic eight speed. Uh, everyone says it's the best BMW gearbox and the best in the market as well. I really do prefer this thing and the new M5 BMW has the same gearbox, which means something for me. Yeah, now let's get down to suspension. So the suspension is, is really, really solid, really good. It's really firm, uh, but rides the bumps awesomely. Like. Uh, the corners and everything is just a joy to drive this thing I really love it so the engine the engine is a 2 liter 150 horsepower engine which some say it's not enough but uh, if it's a slippy road and everything you can have loads of fun with the rear wheel drive if you turn the traction off just like we're doing it now and uh, yeah so and with this little sideways here, we are going down to the different driving modes. So we have Eco Pro mode, which will put the gearbox uh, to neutral if you're rolling on the motorway, which is really lovely. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna save you loads of fuel. I promise. I've tried it. Uh, it's gonna work pretty well. But we have uh, the comfort mode, which is the best mode. In my opinion, it works very well in traffic, on motorway, and in in the country roads as well. So that's the best mode. And we are going to sport mode, which is for overtaking. BMW says, but uh, yeah, for sure you're going to be using it most of the time from the the three modes. It's really cool. It's not going to do anything with the steering or with the suspension. It's not going to firm it up or anything. It's just uh, the throttle pedal respond and the gearbox but it will be really loads of fun if you push it now we're in sport i'm flooring it we're in sleepy road but it keeps the revs up and everything so it's it's a really cool mode i really like it we have a button says off if you press it once uh the the gearbox and everything stays in uh in comfort mode and you will have limited traction but the whole stability control on and if you press it for several seconds long you will have DSC off which will engage sport mode and uh, turn off all the electronics in the car except ABS because it's European Union regulations so you have to use that but uh, stability control and traction control completely off and uh, yeah, that is that is gonna be loads of fun. It's all down to you now, and uh, yeah, you just gonna you just gonna go off the road if you're not experienced. So, if you wanna learn how to drift, let's turn the traction control off first of all, and if you get the feeling of it, then turn the DSC off because. Uh, for the first time, you will spin in DSC off mode, mode no matter how how strong or how weak your car is, it will slip up. So yeah, these modes are really impressive from a diesel saloon car, basically. So let's talk about the interior and the exterior of the car. Well, everyone is familiar with BMW 3 Series cars, uh, but yeah, let's talk about it. So this specific car on the inside and on the outside has a luxury line, which is a really expensive extra to the car, which makes it uh, more chromey, more shiny, 
and uh, yeah, uh, a bit more elegant, not that sporty. And if you buy the uh, luxury line to it, not the sport line, you won't have the Sport Plus button, but you won't need that. It's basically just the traction control off uh, with, uh, yeah, sport settings. So the interior now, uh, same luxury line. You have this beautiful uh, leather, uh, this creamy leather because of the luxury line. Otherwise, you would have have uh, in the Sport the, the black leather. I do prefer this interior a lot. Uh, in here, really simple BMW. Uh, the iDrive system and everything just really the whole car was built around the driver it's really cool you you can see everything from every angle which is unlike any other manufacturers from cars and uh, yeah it's just uh, it's just a whole driving experience this thing which you don't have in an Audi or a Mercedes that much of course you have it but not that much so yeah it's a really cool car I really 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 love it so, how to drift, because we have a real wheel drive car in power slide finally, and uh, we're gonna do some power sliding. We have a beautiful snowy road. And we're gonna just throw the car in and uh, yeah have a power slide so uh, yeah we're gonna learn the drifting in three stages uh, first of all with the traction control on and then with the traction control off and then with DSC off uh, so how to drift well basically uh, you will just throw the car in and uh, just keep it there keep it there and then control the drift do not overcorrect it because then you will crash. So uh, yeah, we're gonna exit this road in any time soon, where there will be a beautiful corner where I can show you how to make a great power slide finally on our channel. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be great fun. But before you do that uh, at home, please please take care and make it on a road which is which is safe to do so. So. Just throw the car in and keep the drift there just like that as you can see so throw the car in power on a lot of people making mistakes and not putting the power down early enough so you have to put the power down and keep it there because if you're afraid through the drift and you back off the power you will spin immediately so please don't do that and uh, as I said only in safe places so yeah don't release the the steering wheel while drifting so control it through the slide and learn it in the snow first of all yeah just like that so uh, yeah but please take care while drifting it's really slippy now so we're gonna just take and don't overcorrect it. So if you overcorrect it, that will close, cause you a lot of money, and uh, that will be really bad if there's a girl sitting next to you, and uh, she'll be like, "Oh, he's not able to drift. I'm not gonna, not gonna go over to his place at night." So yeah, that's about it. That's about drifting can have loads of loads of loads of fun now so yeah uh, that's about drifting so please don't do this at home only safe places and before you try it on the road do it on the racetrack because uh, then if you will crash in in a the road then it won't be good so yeah that was it about drifting
So this was the latest generation BMW 3 Series for today. Let's see if the new one can be better than this one was. Uh, so guys, that was it for today. Uh, see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video.